Hey, what's going on guys, and welcome back to this month in Monster Taming, this time for the month of May 2021. So, while this month isn't the most jam-packed with content literally stacked on top of each other like last month, there are still some noteworthy updates and developments that will unfold during this month. We've got a couple of major releases, the end of a couple Kickstarter campaigns which will determine how these games will be developed moving forward, a brand new Kickstarter campaign, and some updates. So with that being said, make sure to sit back, relax, and let's dive right in. Early this month, we're going to see the latest content update for Monster Crown, a staple for this channel that needs no introduction. The next content update will include the third and final legendary, and more of the game's story content to go alongside it. Jason's been really dedicated to pushing out major updates to this game on a monthly basis, and it's honestly crazy to think that this will be our eighth content pack since the game launched last July. Also coming presumably early in the month is the public access to Serum Ultimate's 0.9 patch, which as mentioned in our latest Monster Tamer news segment, features a crap ton of new content. I'll let the Ed of the past explain. Serum Ultimate updated to version 0.9 on the Steam test branch and brought forth a plethora of new content, which sort of stacks on each other. First, you have Guilds of Rhodia, which allow you to hunt for bounties. Then you have False Gods that you hunt down with said bounties. Then you have Attainments, which are these perks that you can receive for beating these false gods, and more. We also have new specializations in the form of the Royal, Dreamshade, Siege Master, Windrunner, and Witch Doctor, all of which come with their own perks. The update list is insanely long and brings forth a ton of balancing changes and quality of life updates as well, so definitely feel free to check it out. Over to May 7th, the much anticipated Patch Quest Early Access will release on Steam, and the game's had some major changes since many people have tested it during its public beta run last summer. The game's adopted more of a Metroidvania approach since the last public build, and while still remaining a roguelite in that it has randomized areas and individual run progression, etc., it's more of a balance between the two genres now, rather than being weighted heavily towards one side. That said, if you don't know what Patch Quest is, it's essentially a monster riding metroidvania roguelite bullet hell with dozens of mounts with unique abilities which can be tamed by using the game's signature mechanic, the lasso, uh, several different biomes to explore various dungeons and bosses to conquer, a wide array of different bullet options and player skills and much more. I'm currently working on getting a review to you guys, so definitely stay tuned for that. On May 13th, the Mithrin Kickstarter will conclude, and while the game will likely still be developed, whether or not it gets funded, this will without a doubt be a major factor as to how the development moves forward. Mithrin, if you don't know, is a monster taming game that features a day-to-day -day life sim sort of theme, alongside uh, various bonding mechanics for your Mithrin and player, real-time combat inspired by Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm, various areas to explore, and overall the game takes inspiration from Monster Rancher, Pokemon, and Persona. If this game does interest you, definitely check out their Kickstarter campaign, which will be linked in the description. The campaign is currently sitting at over half of its funding goal, with roughly half of its campaign still left. Speaking of Kickstarters, on the 15th, the Monster Tribe Kickstarter campaign is set to end as well, and this game, if you don't know, is an open-world pixel art monster taming RPG with a unique grid-style combat system, a heavy emphasis on the game's lore and various towers for you to explore and conquer, and more. The game as of the time of recording this video is very close to reaching its goal with about half the Kickstarter campaign to go still, so definitely if it's something that interests you, go check it out. On May 18th, the Laxidays Kickstarter is set to begin, which was delayed from April, though I do think that was good because if it had come on its original date, which was the 27th, we'd have three concurrent monster taming Kickstarters all together, and that could have ended up affecting funding. That said, Laxidays is another monster taming game inspired by both Pokemon and Persona, whereas in this case, the game has a major focus on combat, which is a companion-based system featuring various human classes to go alongside it. The main story of this game focuses around a corrupt, seemingly oppressive government that needs to be quashed by the protagonists in a futuristic cyberpunk-esque world. You can follow them on Kickstarter now, so I'll leave a link in the description so you guys get notified when it goes live. 
Towards the end of the month, particularly on the 25th or the 21st, if you got the Digital Deluxe Edition, Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remaster will launch on Steam and PS4, as well as Nintendo Switch. That said, for those of you who don't know, Shin Megami Tensei 3 is a monster taming JRPG whose franchise really is a grandfather to the monster taming genre, with the original Megami Tensei being on the Super Nintendo system. This particular game debuted back in the PS2 days and is referred to by many as being an extremely difficult game Game, with it not being uncommon for you to get wrecked by regular enemies. The game pits you in a world on the brink of destruction and you must play as the Demi Fiend aka half man half demon and try to get a sense of the chaos through aligning yourself with different characters which also allow for different endings. I'm really excited to play this one with you guys. Anyways, with that being said, unless something's announced between the time I started recording this and the time that this goes live, that's pretty much it for the month of May. I'm really looking forward to seeing Patch Quest finally get out there. Liam's been supporting the game, uh, especially the beta, for years, and now he's finally going to be able to get some uh, dough for his work. So that's definitely great. We're going to have a lot of fun with Shin Megami Tensei, and hopefully Lax Days has a great Kickstarter campaign, and best of luck to those who are still in the middle of theirs. If you do enjoy monster taming content, you can definitely subscribe to this channel. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at GymLeaderEd, and check out our monster taming Discord. All links in the description. Until next time, peace.